Golf Bite Online product testing. Today we're looking at the difference between TaylorMade's two current rescue clubs or hybrid clubs as they're also known. You've got the Rescue 11, which is that there, and the Burner 2.0. Now two different types of clubs. Burner 2.0 has got a slight offset to it, very forgiving very you know low weighted get the ball up in the air very very powerful long high hitting club designed for someone who wants to get the ball up in the air someone who struggles to use their long irons it's just going to give you straight launch very very powerful as i said and then the rescue 11 you've got the uh, different settings so you've got the hosel design there with the wrench obviously which can unscrew and you can hit, you can set it for higher, lower loft, and obviously adjust the settings accordingly for left or right. So you, you, you can obviously build it in, keep the relevant balance between your you know, mid to long irons, and then the Rescue Club comes in. So let's try them out, uh, Rescue 11 first. Um, obviously white design looks very, very good. Uh, address, you know, nice looking club. You've got the RIP shaft, which is 65 grams, so a little bit heavier than you would get in the Burner Reax shaft, so keep the ball fight down. So again, keeping with the trend of the more playable of the two clubs, um, it's going to give you um, a more penetrating ball flight, slightly flatter ball flight than you would get with the Burner. Uh, nice looking cover address, just set at standard, uh, so obviously long iron replacement. Mid launch, very very penetrating as I've said. You know, it's, it's a long long hitting club. Still gets the ball up in the air, but it gives a mid launch. It's not launching it straight up. And obviously, you've got the different settings. If you wanted the launch to go down slightly, then just you know amend the settings. Um, also, option for TP. You know, tall preferred shafts, heavier again, and that's going to keep the ball flat right down. You know, people who play in the wind, people who play links golf, looking to get the ball below the wind, then you know that's going to be the better club for you. Moving on to the burner, straight away address, you can see there's a little bit more offset there. It looks very, very forgiving. You know, you look at it and you think, I can't miss. Um, obviously not quite that simple, but a address, you know, it, it looks very, very forgiving, like it's going to get the ball straight up in the air. which it does, you know, that is, wow. Very, very high launching. Launches it straight up in the air. Complete comparison from the rescue. Um, you know, that, that's probably launching it a bit too high for me, but anyone who needs to get the ball up in the air, fantastic, really, really good. Um, you know, the React shaft is a lighter shaft, 60 gram, and, and you know, along with the head design and the weighting, big, big difference. And um, so to, Look at the two, the Burner 2.0 there is going to be absolutely perfect for someone who needs forgiveness, get the ball up in the air, wants to hit it a long way. And then the Rescue 11 uh, with the interchangeable um, settings, obviously that's going to be designed to a more mid, low handicapper. So you've got the playability side of it there as well as the tweaking of the specification, whether it be a TP shaft to get it even more penetrating and get it down below the wind. Both clubs obviously very, very good, very, very successful, very, very powerful. Um, but again, Burner 2.0, mid-high handicapper, want to get a long iron up in the air, perfect for you. And then the playability in the Rescue 11. Thank you very much for listening.